Hi, this is Anna Banana Freeze, and I'm back with the third video for our beginning breaking classes. Uh, the next few moves we'll be doing are all on the floor. Um, if you're watching this video right after you uh, watched and did the last class, uh, you're all ready to go and you're warmed up. You can, you can start learning from here. Um, but if you're starting this brand new, if, it, if this is the beginning or the first uh, bit of dancing you'll be doing today, I want you to do a little, uh, uh, let me see, some stretches or some warm-ups. Uh, so I'm going to pretend um, that you uh, just started this. This is first thing in the morning for you. And we'll do a few exercises together to get you warmed up. Um, hmm, let's have you do 11 jumping jacks. I just like the number 11. So let's do 11 jumping jacks together. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Um, and then wiggle your body, shake, maybe rotate one foot around like this, rotate your ankle, the other one, maybe bounce a little bit. Okay, I think we're warmed enough right now. Uh, what we're doing is all moves on the floor, so we're just gonna go ahead and go down to the floor into a squat like this, just like that. Um, most of our moves are gonna be coming from this squat position. Uh, so if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, um, and this is a brand new position that your body doesn't really get to practice a lot, uh, you don't have to sit like I am right now um, while you're learning and listening. You just sit on your bottom like this, and kind of rest uh, while I'm showing the move. So I'm gonna show each move today first, and then I want you to try it with me, okay? The first uh, floor move or footwork that we'll be doing today is called a shuffle. Uh, it kind of stays in one place, kind of, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, if you've done PE classes at school, you might have done this move already. Usually students are familiar uh, and, and know this move from classes. So you start with a squat, um, and then you're gonna put your two hands down on the floor. I'm gonna face this way so you can see the side of my body when I do these moves. Um, squat, two hands on the floor in front. Um, they could be flat, but I prefer it if you're a little up, or at least for me, my hands are a little up. I don't know if you could see right here. Uh, my hands are not flat like this. They're a little up, but I am not on my fingertips. I am not. Um, I'm on the upper part of my palm, the top part of my palm, and my thumb kind of sticks out like this, okay? So I'm gonna put my hands down, flat or a little up like mine. Uh, my two feet are gonna scoot back, one, two, and then my feet are gonna take turns going up and down like this. Okay, so um, I would like you to try it this time. We're gonna start with a squat. Two hands on the floor flat or a little up like mine. One foot step back, other foot back. We're going to do 10. Ready, set, go. And then stop and take a break on your bottom. So those are 10 shuffles. Um, other people also call them mountain climbers, but I'm gonna be calling them shuffles. And that was regular shuffle, so it's okay. It's an okay move by itself. Uh, when I do shuffles though, I do something a little different. Um, I move my knees and make them go side to side while my feet are going up and down, okay? So if you don't remember, the way I did uh, the shuffles earlier was just like this. Squat, two hands down. Then my feet were just going up and down like that. I'm gonna show it to you actually facing you so you can see how my legs uh, look, uh, my knees don't stick out at all. Watch. Okay, so that was a regular shuffle. Uh, I'm gonna add something to it a little bit though. Uh, watch first, I'll show you what um, I do from this angle and then I'll face that way so you can see my legs a little better. Uh, this is another way of doing the shuffles, except my knees are gonna go side to side this time. Okay, so squat, two hands down, flat or a little up. One foot back, other foot back. And this is with my knees going side to side. Did you notice how my knees were kind of sticking out when I was doing that move? 
to me looks kind of cooler. It's more uh, striking and exciting when my knees stick out. Uh, it looks a little different. Uh, so let me show you the move this way. Don't try it yet. Just watch for now. Squat, two hands down. One foot step back, other foot steps back. Then my knees are gonna go side to side. My feet are gonna go up and in. Just like that. So now I'd like you to try it with me. And this time you could do eight. Eight of the shuffles with your knees going side to side. Uh, you don't have to go as fast as me. If when I'm done doing this, these moves and maybe you only did four or something, that's okay. You could stop and listen for the next part, okay? So we're going to uh, do about eight or four of these moves. We're starting with a squat, two hands down on the floor in front, two feet scoot back, one, two, Feet are gonna go up and down, but knees are going side to side. Go. Just like that. Okay, if you need a rest or a break, you can go ahead and do that. Again, if this position sitting here um, is kind of uh, making your body tired or is kind of tricky for you, you could go ahead and sit on your bottom um, while you're uh, listening for the next part, okay? So for the next part of this move, it is uh, one more different way of doing the shuffles. Um, and watch my feet. You'll see what I mean. Uh, watch first and then try it with me, okay? So I'm going to sit in a squat. Two hands on the floor in front. One foot's gonna step back, other foot back. And then this time, one foot is gonna go to the side. Side, together, side, together, side, together, side, together. Just like that, okay? So uh, I would like you to try that move, maybe do three or four. Uh, I'm gonna do six, okay? All together. Squat, one hand on the floor, other hand on the floor, two feet to the back, one, two, and feet are gonna go across and out to the side. Ready, set, go. And then go ahead and rest and have a seat. Um, if you need to t uh, pause the video to take a water break or to take a breather break, you can do that right now. If you want to breathe with me, Whew, I think I need help breathing right now. So go ahead and in through your nose, breathe in, out your mouth. One more time, breathe in through your nose, out your mouth. Whew, thank you. Sometimes I forget to breathe, but when uh, we breathe together, I remember to do it, so thanks for that. Um, now we're gonna go on to a uh, different footwork. Those were all shuffles, three different ways of doing the shuffle. Um, and now we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, it's still a shuffle, but instead of staying in one position and staying in one spot, uh, our bodies are gonna kind of go around. Our feet are gonna go around um, our bodies, kind of. I'll, sh I'll show you what I, what I mean. Um, when you do it, you don't have to make it look like mine, but the idea is just to put your hands down on the floor. So from a squat, watch first though, watch. Uh, from, from the squat, my two hands are gonna go down on the floor. Then my two feet are gonna uh, go back again. One, two, and then my feet are gonna go around my hands, okay? So watch how I do it and then I want you to try it, so. And um, that is a rotating shuffle. Uh, when you do it, if you feel a little dizzy, have a seat afterwards. Maybe just go one round or even uh, halfway around if it feels uh, too tricky for you at uh, this moment. The more you practice though, the more it'll all get easier to do. Okay, so let's all try it together this time. Squat, two hands down on the floor in front. And I would like you to do one full round or a half a round, okay? You don't have to go all the way around if it's too tricky right now. Uh, two hands down, feet back. Ready, set, go. And then stop. And when you stop, uh, you could kind of be in a pose when you're stopping. It'll get used to you um, dancing and putting the moves together. But go ahead, have a seat on your bottom for now. And then we have one more footwork to do. Uh, so far we've done the shuffles, 
we did the stationary shuffles. That means they kind of stay in one place. And then we did the, the rotating shuffles when we go in a circle. Um, but now it's time for kind of a totally different move. And the different move is um, with our bodies facing up. So it's not going to be, is it from a squat? Hmm, I guess it could be from a squat, but uh, we're gonna start from sitting on our bottoms. So go ahead, sit on your bottoms. If you haven't been doing so now, uh, two feet on the floor in front like this, just like this. And then we're gonna have our hands uh, a little back and a little to the side of our bottoms and then bottoms go up. And then we're gonna make our feet kick up, down, up, down, just like that, okay? I'm gonna face this way, um, right there, so you could might maybe see better this way. Ready, one foot up, down, up, down. My feet are taking turns, just like this, okay? So my feet take turns, and you could go either kind of slow, or you could go faster. Just like that, it's up to you. Okay, so that is one way of doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat back on your bottom. Um, that is one way of kicking up your feet in front. There is another way, and it is actually um, one of my favorite ways to kick up my feet. It's not kicking to the front though, it's kicking to the side, uh, and it looks like this. I'll show it to you facing you first, and then I'll face that way so you can see where my hands um, are from the side. So sitting on the floor with your bottoms, Two feet on the floor in front of you, two hands down by your bottoms, bottoms up. And then um, your knees can be close for this one. So your knees can be close together. Uh, one foot goes up. And then when this foot goes down, the other foot will go up to the side too. If it feels okay, you could go to the side like this. And then stop, have a seat on your bottom. We're gonna try that again, but uh, I'll show you the way that I like to do this move. When I do this move, my hands are usually not on the floor. My hands, uh, one hand is usually up and one hand is usually down, uh, and it looks like this. So, so don't try this yet, just watch me, okay? So I'm sitting on the floor, uh, bottom on the floor, two feet on the floor in front, uh, knees closer together, two hands a little back, bottoms up, and when I do this move, one hand usually goes up, okay? just like that. And uh, believe it or not, when I go kind of faster, it's a little easier for me to stay up on the floor. So let's try, let's try that together. You could have two hands down or one hand up just like me. Okay, ready? Sitting on our bottoms, two feet on the floor in front, two hands down by our bottoms, bottoms up. And then our two feet are gonna go up and down, taking turns on the side. Ready, set, go. You could go fast, slow, medium or something in between. Sometimes I like to have no hands. This is a bonus. Please just watch for now. You can try it if it feels okay after um, this time though. So watch, sometimes I don't use hands. Just like that, it's a little tricky. Um, I use my body to balance. And then my feet take turns and I kind of swing my body side to side uh, to keep balance and to uh, better keep my hands off the floor. Let's try that together. Uh, if that's too tricky for you right now, uh, you could uh, have two hands down or one hand down. Ready? Get into position. Ready, set, go. Four. And stop. Have a seat on your bottoms. That was a lot to learn. We did three different kinds of footwork, three different kinds for the first one. So that was like six different kinds um, of footwork that we did right now. I want you to take one more deep breath all together. Breathe in through your nose, out your mouth. One more time. Breathe in through your nose, out your mouth. And you know what? If your legs are a little sore, go ahead, open them up a little bit and go side to side. You could wiggle your feet while you're doing this. You could reach with your hands, reach with your arms. And ooh, uh, I didn't tell you this yet. I don't know if you noticed, but my legs are really, really short. My legs are really, really short compared uh, to the rest of my body, like my torso. And I'm kind of flexible, so when I stretch, 
it looks like this or maybe this it's because it looks uh, a little different because my legs are so short so if your stretch or your moves look different from mine it might be because your legs are longer and that's okay uh, your moves will end up looking different too so that's it for this video uh, i'm anna banana freeze i will see you for our next and final video for the beginning breaking classes